All right, I'm gonna do a before and after video on our tank transformation here. We had white sand in here and we're redoing the whole tank. I took all the white sand out and I'm going to put black sand in the aquarium and we're gonna see the difference. I'm gonna do a planted tank with black sand and plants. I'll put some pictures on here of the before, how it looked with the white sand. And then um, after I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like with the black sand and you can let me know which one you like better. All right, I'm gonna start off the video just showing some before and after pictures and videos. Here's our little Cory catfish that we had swimming around. And here's a time lapse when I first got this tank and set it up. I had a ton of fish in there. Look at all of them. I had angelfish and the barbs and the glowfish and everything. And um, there's a stir by Cory's again. I'm gonna show you the giant garamis. See ya. Selfie with the new fish. Look at that. Wow. I think I have my new favorite fish. <laughs> Problem is I don't ever want nothing to happen to me. So here's the uh, pictures of the giant gourami that we got. Jamie was so excited when we got that fish. And uh, we had a couple of those giant gouramis. And they kind of outgrew the tank. Here's the last one that we had. It was a really cool fish. But we end up having to give him away. I just gave him away so I could redo the tank with the plants because he was eating all of my plants. Um, so there's the tank with the bare bottom and I'm getting ready at this point to get the last of the sand out and go ahead and start adding the black sand and I'll show you guys the process on what that looks like in the transition. There's when I have everything out, just a bare bottom tank. I put most of the fish in a little holding uh, tank and there we go. I started adding the black sand looks really cool all right here's the update got about half of the black sand in there it's looking good a little cloudy but it'll clear up all right so here's some pictures of the process as I started with the big piece of holy rock and kept adding more sand added a few pebbles here and there then I start putting the driftwood and the plants Slowly adding pieces, it's coming along nicely. This tank is looking awesome. Woo! What do you think, Sam? Simba likes it. <laughs> this tank is looking awesome. Then when I'm done with all the scaping, I'm gonna add some electric blue acaras and some orange platies, maybe a couple more angelfish. It's gonna be amazing once it's all done. All right, so here's where I put in all the rocks. I have most of my fish back in there, the angelfish. I got all kind of cool plants, and you can just see how the tank turned out. It'll clear up here in a little bit, but it turned out really nice. So that's the finished product. What do you guys think? I put in um, about three inches of the black sand at the bottom here so I can grow roots for these plants. I did put some fertilization tabs in the bottom under the sand and I used this big holy rock. There's the electric blue acaras. I wanted to get those on video. They were hiding but they're really cool fish. They will look really good. I think they'll pop and stand out against the black sand. Um, so that's the finished product. What do you think? Do you guys prefer white sand or black sand? Uh, do you have a preference? What do you think looks better in my tank? After doing this and really looking at the before and after, I like the black sand. This is amazing. It gave me a chance to clean up my tank. It gave me a chance to get out all the pest snails and stuff that I had in there and put in some new plants. And I just really love the black sand so far. So leave a comment below. Let me know your favorite. What do you like for sand? 
and what do you want to see us do more videos of and uh, thank you for watching this far if you haven't hit the like and the subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next video